Welcome back to another Fantasy Star Let's Play and um, as you may remember from last time we um, ended up going adventuring from the um, starting point of the game all the way to Birth Valley to find everyone turned to stone by a madman called Zero. Zero, sorry not Zero, fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, already, well, for so many seconds into this video I'm starting to swear already. But anyway, enough of that. Um, yeah, we went to find the um, cure for the um, stone problem and Unfortunately, the village got burnt, and now we are with a guy called Groom, who can actually help us out. And we're just stopping at the village of um, Corrupt, to, so we can get um, some bits and bobs. Because otherwise, we're going to be pretty much screwed without some of these. Actually, how much have we got on the item? Well, we've got plenty of money, and... Sorry, Monomate. Monomate. Yeah, Monomate. How the fuck do you pronounce this shit? Monomate. <laughs> And <laughs> antidote. Uh, obviously, I've got to sell some of that. Uh, sell all what you sell anyway. Oh, it's a tool. Okay. Uh, mm, actually, I'm gonna leave that. Yeah, because just in case. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, why did Han not want to come back to this village? Well, plenty of simple reason why, it's because this is where he's, like he's saying, um, fiancé is. Now he either probably didn't want to get her involved, or he didn't want to worry about the tr um, trouble he's getting into. And that's the end of that part. But anyway, let's go to the weapon sword, what we bloody um, need. Um, actually, is it worth for me to get any weapons from me, actually? I have to think back. Uh, let's have a little look, see, anyway. Uh, how much have I got, anyway? Oh, yeah. Mm, actually, what has she got, actually? That's a good point. Actually... No, 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 I didn't want that. Oh, wait, I did want that. Yes. Uh, sell that. The only one thing about this is that you have to do everything individually. Uh, what else? Yeah, that'll do it, because um, he does monomate and antidotes. I'm also not sure how loud I'm going to be on E sounding on this because the sound on this is quite loud on my headset. So I'm going to turn it down a bit, bear with me. But I know that my voice will come through because I have heard my previous recording. Now you're probably wondering why I didn't buy any armor and such from there because I think. Whoops. Where is it? There we go. Nope, that's not what I want. Um, what have you got? What's she got? Leather crown, boomerang, leather helm, crown suit. Uh, you know what? I'm. You know what? Sorry, I'm. I'm going to go for it actually, because part of me feels like. Part of me feels like that. I'm going to mess myself over big time if I end up not getting it. You know what? I probably may end up regretting it. So, back to this again. Uh, gonna buy. Uh, Helm Crown. Yes. Now, the good thing is, you can tell what um, character has to have certain things, or what characters can have certain things. For example, um, the crown goes to. It's more like a woman's helmet, so it will go to people like Alice. Um, Chaz has the helm. A circuit would go to people like Han and Rune because they're more of a light combat people than if he has more supportive ends such. 
Uh, suits, Han can wear them, but Rune cannot. Uh, shield, oh, everyone can have them. So, yeah. Uh, let's think. Yes. And, um. I think. No, I won't go for carbon suit because. I think I can get something better from the other village. Plus, I might be able to find half the stuff. Just bear with me. There we go. Right, uh... right. Oh! I am obviously an idiot. You already had one of them. Wait, I could have thought I bought something else. Don't tell me I ended up buying two. Oh, you l idiot! <sighs> yeah, just do yourself a favor, people. Do not do what I do and be an idiot. Because sometimes you just end up buying more than one thing and not realizing it. Right, helmet crown is what I bloody need. Uh, yep. Now. I'm not going to get anything else. Uh, however, I will need another boomerang that may help. Or slicer, whichever it be. What is this? Um, that's more of a... Oh! Oh, that's his family. Okay! So obviously I can't get no weapons from here, but have no fear, I always have a way. Right. Uh, quick that. Right, here we go. That should help. Right, onwards. Okay, so it should be somewhere uphill. Wait, where's the bear, guys? Okay. And that, my friends, is how you clear an entrance. Yeah, because um, on this world, um, fast forwarding from the past of what it used to be, they haven't heard of magic in a long while. They've been you mostly relying on like things like um, techniques and such like that. But um, going from the first fantasy star, um, there was things like magic around and such that. I mean, Rune's predecessor, Lutz, he actually had um, like, the ability to use magic and so on and so on. And I realised what I just did. I pretty much just gave away part of the story. Um, yeah. Let's just pretend I didn't say anything about that. <laughs> uh. And dead. Ew, that's disgusting. Okay, I've got to work on him a bit more. Really? Uh, I'm going to let him just hit. That should take it down. Nope, he didn't. Yikes. Come on. You guys are starting to be annoying. Now at this rate, people may say, why are you not using your techniques and the white light one? Pretty much trying to preserve them for like the big boss battles and such like that. Actually, up here. Uh, the full. Uh, oh, didn't want to push that one. Ah! Antidote! Well hey! Even though I've got a lot of those, I don't care. You can never have one too many of them. Well, sort of. These guys are easy to kill. With a butt to it, because these guys 
can fuse together to make one big massive one. And I think it takes about two of them to do it. Oh shit. Not good. I think I may have made a boo-boo of actually going into this cave without... Yeah, I'm going to have to get out of here. Oh shit. Oh, double shit. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Yep. Take note from me, people. Do not do what I just did here. Really take note. Yeah, so I'm getting the heck out of here. Uh, I don't like running, but still. Let's get the heck out of here before we get... Now, you may notice that the characters... Two of the characters look stiff. That usually means that they're incapacitated and all that stuff. Right, let's go back to the beach. Watch me get attacked by the... You son of a bitches. Uh, uh. Right. Yeah, I thought I'd try and be clever and go in there and just think, yeah, I'm not going to need the armor. I'll save my money for the like, tougher armor and such. Boy, was I wrong. I forgot how sometimes unforgiving this game can be. Not always, but sometimes. Stupid person, get the fudge out of my way. Oh, well, I was hoping that would get him out of my way, but he didn't. So it looks like I'm going to have to obviously walk around him. Yeah, 60. Fine. I've got plenty to spare, I suppose. Right, I'm going to have to buy some bloody armor. And this is me saying, oh, you know, I don't want to waste my money on that. And then suddenly I be like, yeah. Uh, right, you already got that. So let's get the suit then. Luckily I can afford this. No. Now I just gotta equip my stuff. Make it snappy. Wait, you already had a carbon suit already? Well, dip me in shit. Well, at least I'm getting some of my money back. To a degree. But don't worry. I guarantee you, with the amount of enemies we'd be up, we'd get that back. You watch it, don't turn up after all this and it'd be like, you son of a bitches. Right, let's get going. And head on up. Alright, let's go. Uh, actually, I'll get them to focus on that thing, because that thing's a nasty little son of a bitch at times. Actually, I better move my mic closer to me, just in case. There we go. Yeah, the hits are not so bad now. Luckily, Rune's already um, highly equipped, luckily. And Addis, she can pretty much take um, a beating. It's just the other two at times. But, um, but other time, you do improve. As you level up, rack up, and all that, like, you know, like you usually would in normal RPGs. Ooh! Now, the Locusts, I do actually love the design of the Locusts in this game. I always found them pretty cool, because they just look so tall and intimidating. And plus, I do love um, the old Prey Mantises as well. I find them quite awesome. That's another thing I always found quite um, good in this game. It's the designs of monsters and such like that. They really come up with um, quite a lot of interesting designs and amazing designs even. And that's the thing about the... Um, about um, a lot of the, you know, Japanese these games and cartoons and such like that. They really knew how to come up with a lot of good awesome designs for both um, monsters and mechs and such like that. I know other countries have, have come, come, come up with awesome designs as well. 
So, you know, I do give high credit to all of them as well. Oh shit, even with the armor, these things are still tough. No, oh, because I'm going to get um, nasty. Good thing I've got plenty of um, monomet. Mate, how do you pronounce it? Seriously, how the hell do you pronounce these things? Now he comes to big test. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, idea. Let's see. Uh, what? And. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. Oh, shit. I just realized. Yeah. That. It. I forgot Snare does that. Oh, fuck. Even with the suit on, he's still vulnerable. That's nasty. Right, let's uh, use this to get him up. Well, mind you, he's uh, a low life as well. Well, gonna have to keep going then. You guys are starting to really be irritating. Let me get some. So I suppose you're gonna fuse into a big one. Nope, that's good then. Yeah, you miss you, son of a bitch. Nice. Ah, is it a new skill? Crosscut. Awesome. I will sort out the uh, Mako and all that lot. But I'll do it at a later date. Because I know you can make some good combination with the magics and such. Like Blizzard and Firestorm and stuff like that. Our chest is going to need healing. Again, good thing that Rune at this point can actually take a good beating as well. I say at this point because uh, actually I'm going to show up before I actually spoil the game further because I've already done that once already and I don't fancy doing that again. And I'm an idiot. Actually, where's could I? Yes. Smash them up! Whoa, that was a good thing! <laughs> that was a that was a very good thing actually, because otherwise that would have um really fucked Chaz over. Ooh, nice going Alice. <laughs> nice. Uh whoops, no, you can't save any. Uh that, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to waste time. Uh, I was meant to push that button. Alright, let's try using tech rather than just um, items, even though that ideally I like to preserve, but at the same time I can't be stingy, right? Besides, I'm pretty sure I'll come across an inn and such. Wait, is it up here or across? No, I'll go across here first, then I'll go up there afterwards. You watch, I end up going back in a bit. But hey, look on the bright side. At least this is a good way of grinding. Alright, let's see what we're about finishing the rest off. Nice. Double nice. And 120 mister. Getting that back. Wait a minute. No, this is leads to the exit, so I'm going to have to go the other way. There's a good reason why I'm going back it uh, can pull. Uh, you know what? Um, let's get her to do that. And what? And oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Ah, ultimate killer move. Just use gravity on him, and that's it. Game over. Uh, yep. So. Straight away, bam. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Would have made my job so much easy. Wait, where's the treasure chest here? Okay, so I went down here for nothing, obviously. Oh well. Right, try that. With that. That. 
And... Yep, wipe out. Nice. Come on, hit me with another enemy attack. Oh dear, yep, yeah, there we go. You guys are just going down with one shot, one kill, you know that. Actually, I wonder. Nope, that didn't work. But still. I thought I'd try the um, other abilities rather than just you seeing the same old, same old all the time. Which I know some of you don't mind, but some of you do like a variety as well, so I'm just trying to give you a variety of stuff to see. Now, is this the. Ah, now this is the one with the chest. There we go, I must be getting mixed up. Let's see. Um, sand is definitely wind. That. Let's see about this. Actually, idea. Nope, not gonna work. But however, if you add sand with what and such. Wait a minute, where's the macro thing up? Uh, macro, sorry, not macro. Oh, let's change that to. Um, Alice uses. Zan. And. Han uses. If I got this right. And Rune uses. Phone. See. Yeah. See what happens there. Ooh, that's not bad. That definitely gets back the money we need. Now, let's see if my memory works. There we go! I knew it was one of those. Now let's see what happens about one button again. Right, let's go and switch it up with Alice doing the same thing again, but this time Shroon goes and does foe. Just does that. I'm just trying to show you all the um, little techniques here. Ah, okay, you want to do that? Let's go. There we go, hot stuff right there. It's a good thing I remember that one. That's one of them I remember. Alright, let's just uh, hit these with normals. Because otherwise I'm going to be wasting a lot of TP here. But... I want to show you guys some of the stuff that they can do and with the combinations of magic and such like that or tech points should I say we really got to look at another one of those because that would actually help at this point that's we see usually I end up having two at this point but me being a silly so and so fuck out wait before I go any further uh, just in case. I know Alice is down near enough half, but she can take it. Ah, here we are. Right. Nope. Well, we're coming through the cave. Right, before we go any further, let's get up, get ourselves rested up. Holy shit! I did make a lot of, um, mustard in. Or gold, as you like to call it, some does Okay, I'm impressed with myself on that. Now, let's have a look, see, uh... <laughs> ah, there we are. Titan 
Titanium Helm, sorry. Now... Yep. I buy two of those. Shoot, I ain't got enough for two of those. Never mind. Uh, quick. So I'm just turning myself here. Right, uh. Right, might be a good idea to sell some of this stuff. Uh, I think selling would be best. Because I don't think I'm going to need anything else. Alright. Let's shut the other one out. I can't remember what sort or oh, what. That's not it. Ah, here we are. Weapons. Um, ah, now, let's see. That's what we need. Get two of those. Gotta be careful. Wait. Yeah, we'll get Chaz that, because swords are quite good. Uh, right. Let's go and equip Alice with Slasher, which is like a boomerang basically. That takes up two hands as you can tell. Uh, I equip him with that and... Oh. Luckily with Rune you don't need to equip him with anything because he's basically got everything you need. Um, Plus, that's another reason why you can't equip him at this point. You get to find out in a moment. Uh, sell that. And... Sell that. Right. Well, not as I've got the armour that's and such, that's all that matters. For now. Now, is it this tent? Yeah, it is. There we go. Now, on this part, um, you have to be—you have to actually select a certain. Um, you have to be specific about a certain question. Put it that way. In other words, there's only certain questions that will. Oh, let me phrase this. Now, with some of these questions, uh, you can answer yes to them if you want to know about that thing. But, however, there's one certain question that will kick off um, a cutscene that you will need to activate the next act, basically. So basically, with this one, when he's asking if you want to know about the secret of um, refining titanium, then obviously you're going to answer no, but you can always say yes if you want to know that. Um, again, with this one, you can say no, but again, you've got the option to say yes. And then there's this one, um, where he says about um, telling the measurements of um, Alice. Now, this is the one you're going to need to say yes to if you want to progress to the next act, because you'll see why in a bit. It's most likely for comedy purposes. One thing I love is, um, is the fact she has a, hot, a quite a hot tempo at times. <laughs> and it's a good thing that Rune is there to um, call her head because otherwise she probably would have um, flattened him to the ground by now. <laughs>
And that item will come in handy at a later date, but I'll not say no more because otherwise I will be spoiling um, another... Oh, I'll just be spoiling it for you guys, so I'm trying not to. I mean, there's a lot about this game that I know that I can actually tell and I can blab up so much. But to those who hasn't played it, I don't want to spoil it for you. But I would definitely recommend anyone who hasn't played this before to give it a shot. If you're into RPG games and such like that. Um, especially these type of ones. Um, this one basically, you know, like I said in the first video, it ticked my boxes is for the sci-fi and fantasy stuff. And I actually enjoyed it. Even as um, a really good story. It continues with the fantasy style 1 and 2 and such like that. So it's really nice how it's all linked together. Oh great, I'm going to have to go down to the bloody cellar. And usually just poisonous mushrooms in there. When I say poisonous mushrooms, I mean mushroom monsters. Now this guy, Grizz, he's actually quite um, very handy. He's like a tank he is when he gets going. So basically you can actually use these, um, oh, you know, normal attacks and he would just hit at um, large, um, he would take off large health off of enemies. And that, my friends, when you said about taking on Zio, is a hint. But, um, I'll leave you guys to figure that out and join the dots. And yep, now he's like, thinking, wow. <laughs> right, let's get down to the basement. Now, fuck. Now, if my memory is correct, it is here. There we go. And open sesame. Now you may have heard of monsters in the basement, right? In this case, there is some pretty much in this basement. I mean, come on, it wouldn't be a basement if you're- oh shit, it's a fucking toadstool. Now these things are, can be easy to kill, but at the same time, its status effect can actually really hurt. So it's best to get rid of them quickly, otherwise you're going to end up regretting it. See what I mean about the two um, boomerang slashes? Pretty handy. And it's a good thing I equipped him with the armor, because otherwise I would have been screwed by now. Ooh. Just thought those mushrooms are a little bit tougher than I thought. I might have to... Yeah, I've seen Grizz on the Oh, then again, get Alice to slash him up. That works. So I'm checking if you're looking for like, treasure chests and such. Oh, bloody hell. Corks. Frogs. Uh, get rid of these things, because they're going to be really nasty. Ew! That is disgusting! Oh, come on! Makes you wonder what type of um, thing created that frog. But then again, the answers lie. Very much soon, but I'm not going to say... Now, sod off! Well, hey! One way to get my master back. Also, I've got to keep an eye on their life, so... I might as well just use um, Hans um, Res at this point. Because something tells me there isn't a boss fight to deal with at this part. Not yet, anyway. I mean, of the game, not, you know. 
All right, let's get rid of that. Did anyone tell you that using your tongue to lick people is a dirty habit? Yeah, that takes care of that. Ooh, leveled up. Nice. But you see what I mean about the monsters getting a little bit trickier at this point. And this is where it's important to... Um, not only be wise with your mester, but also get... You know, the top of the range armor and such like that. And yikes. It's okay... If, it's okay that not all your characters are equipped with... Armor. But, in some cases, it really matters, like there. I'm going to have to go back again. <sighs> back up I go. And this is how grinding works, people. You go back and forward. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to definitely get him some armor. Actually, he can't wear Titan now, I just realised. Right, where's that? There they are. Yep, we could do with um, resting up here. Well, it's only 60, so it's not so bad. How much does that Titan Mail cost anyway? Now, was it this one? Yeah, it is. Uh, circuit. Oh, no. Oh, he can't. He cannot wear it, definitely. And he can't use a... Damn, he can't use it. So yeah, he's going to be pretty vulnerable. So I'm going to have to be... A bit wise. Where's the item store? Yeah. Um, item store. Nope. Um, wait, there must be an item store somewhere about. No, okay, I'm going away. Uh, no, 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 no. Where's the bloody item store? No, no. You know what, screw the items. I'm going on aid. Yeah, I want to go back in here. And I've got no excuse, I'm using a controller this time around, so... It's not like I'm struggling or anything like that. Right, now we all topped up and all that. Look, let's get down to business. Right. Good. Yep, there we go. Take you guys out. Oh, fudge. What did you have to miss? Uh, don't miss again. So I Usually when a spore like that, it can actually poison your group or do something. It's usually not quite friendly. That's the thing that always gets me most of the time. It's when they use their spores or their attacks, it usually poisons you. Even that fog thing has a few um, nasty tricks up its sleeve. That was so good. Oh shoot, you missed. But that ton attack is really nasty. Even with an armor suit, you still have no issues. Luckily, that missed. There we go. Nope, not down there. Got to see to come out of nowhere, don't they? Alright, let's see. Uh. Alright, let's use this. Now you may notice that some of these have um, numbers uh, on them. That's how many times you can use them because they don't use your... Why they don't use your tech points... Um, why these ones don't use your tech points, which is TP, they just use up... and They only can be used for a limited time amount that you can use them, basically. So let's say for example Vision, if you decide to use that, it's got time 6, so you can only use that 6 times. But with the technical with the um, tech element or magic egg, call it what you will um, or abilities um, that will take your TP so whatever numbers beside the uh, magic that you're using like ant or what which is frozen and such those numbers tell you how much it takes off your TP so yeah ooh nasty Holy shit! That cross cut's lethal! I forgot how powerful that was. I 
might have remembered that one. Nice. Ooh, double nice. Alright, you mushroom little sods, let's go. Nice. Oh. Ah, didn't do too. Ooh. Ooh, yikes. These guys are getting really nasty. Well, let's finish them off. Now, I could easily. Oh, we missed. That's not good. That's good. We could easily run away and such that, but. Where's the fun in that? <laughs> Alright, let's get Alice healed up. She's probably fed up being low on health. Probably thinking, when the fuck are you guys going to heal me? Alright. Chaz is catching up as well. Oh, they send three to the young toadstools, huh? You know, you toadstools to go back to fucking Mario, you know that? Oh, I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. <laughs> Almost done. Ooh, nice. That went a lot better. Right. Let's have a look at these rooms. See what's in there. Nope, just a rat. Anything else in the other one? Soon find out. Alright, get rid of that thing. And get rid of that. That's just like one mushroom. Total thing. Ha! That was a lot better than expected. There we go. Oh, move on. Nice. The more the merrier, I'll say. At least this game is not stingy when it comes to um, giving like your money and such like that. At least it gives you plenty of so you can actually buy upgrades and such like that. Ooh, even better. That did jack shit to me. Ooh. Right. Seems like I keep getting encounters after encounters down here. They really don't want me to progress further. But they're gonna die, so... Ah! Luckily these things are weak. Right, going down. Oh, I was expecting that. You know what, the good thing about this game, it gives you plenty of um, encounters to deal with. So you don't have to spend too much time going back and forward and grinding. So at least you're fighting your way as you go across. And yes, it can be challenging, but, you know, I'm a sucker for a challenge. Oh, nice. Right, let's go across here. Down we go. Before I go... Uh, use right. That should get him back up. I'm being a bit cautious here. Right, there's stairs that lead down there, but I'm going to check these ones first. I want to make sure that I don't miss anything that could be handy and useful. Oops. Ooh, that's. Actually, no, no, think about it. Oh, no, she doesn't. Ha! That saves me a lot. That's another reason why I go check them out and stuff. You find good armor that can often save you a lot of time and money. Game money, I mean. I know what some of you are thinking. Duh! <laughs> oh, there's so much, much about this game I love, you know. It reminds me back when I was young and such like that. Plus, I had a lot of good time with this game as well. So, you know, it's one of these games that I really enjoyed and such. And, like I said, it's just got me into the um, RPG world. And that's on both Japanese and um, European sides. So, yeah, this was like the beginning of um, me getting into 
a world of um a world of um RPGs and yeah I've had ever since you know playing these sort of games I've had a lot of fun with them and uh, yeah I never agreed In fact, it's fact this game I got into uh, the Final Fantasies and such. So yeah. Also, I can't wait for um, Fantasy Star Online 2 to come over. Now, it'll probably be, by the time this video is out, it probably will be already over in um, the EU areas and such. But at the time I'm recording this, it's not out yet. So if one of you, uh, if one of you looks at this video and goes, Oh, but it's out already. I'll be like, yep. I yep, know, oh, but that's because this video was done before. So, hopefully that answers your questions about that one. If you did anything. Not that I think you would. Ooh, but I'll keep an eye on Chaz there. Oh, shit. Well, let's take a gamble. And that gamble paid off. Right, let's use tech res. Let's see how far this goes. Right, we yeah, we saw some bets of half health. Oh shit! I just realised Alice is um, really down. Good thing I did actually went to that. Right. You toadstools don't seem to give up, do you? Alright, let's see how you under that. Um that and that and no, it'd be best if we hit some. Ooh, shit. I'm probably better off using the Oh shit, he's paralyzed. See what I mean by the status effects? It that was the thing I was worried about. Was it um paralyzing? Status effect. I had to figure the name there. Two down. Two to go. Man at one. And Zippo. Don't worry, you snap out of it. He will stop walking like that, and then he goes like that. There you go. And that's how you can tell he's out of it. Alright, I better use these um reds to hit him. Alright, that should keep him going. But yeah, that was a bit of a close call. Son of a gun. You guys like to really sharp, don't ya? Oh, son of a bitch. Don't have to finish these guys off. Shit. There we go. Right, I better heal up Chaz. Uh, luckily, Han's got plenty to last. Let's get Alice up. Just to be safe and sorry. There. Nope, nothing there. Right, time to go lower. Luckily these caterpillar things are not so bad. Oh shit! I hate when they do that. But luckily these ones are not so bad compared to the um, toad souls and such. Hold on. Sorry about that. I had to wipe my mic there. This is why happens when you do two things at once. Play the game, make a cup of tea, and you start talking. And all of a sudden, bam. You spit over your mic. <laughs> Not that I mean to. Oh, come on. I just already came out from that. Ugh. Luckily, again, these are not so hard. And, oh, there they go. I wonder how much mess I'm getting from these. Holy hell, that's a lot. Well, it's a lot at this start. 
Ah, now I'm getting there. Now you're probably thinking, why not use that door? But, unfortunately, it's tightly shut. But do not worry. Well, there is. You guys are really not calling it quits. Like, you, don't, you just don't want me to cure those people that have been turned to stone. But you know what? I've got two words for you. Fuck you, because, you know, we're going to do it. Oh shit, Chaz is paralyzed. Um, yeah, quickly finish him off. Oh, nice. Don't worry. And, whoops, uh-oh. Yikes. Yeah. Well, I'm glad Chaz did level up. Yeah, I didn't mean to push that button. Um, wait, what's that technique he's learned? Oh, he's paralyzed at the moment. Hold on. Let's get uh, harm to... That. Oh shit, I used the other one! She's like, no need to use it, but thanks anyway. And he's like, yep, yeah, you're welcome. Oh boy. You guys just don't know when to give up, do you? But fine, you're gonna die anyway, so. Eat that! <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Woo, now we got it. So he thinks, but uh, like I said, this is like a big hint to what happens later. Or that could be coming along eventually. Besides, we could do with Grizz's help anyway. I'm not sure if I'm turning his name out, so if anybody wants to help me with pronouncing that, by all means do. Plus he's like the powerhouse of the group anyway. So it's good to have him about skate pipe. Could do that, but no. Fuck. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna finish this off and use the skate pipe actually. Because these guys are gonna really punish me big time. Oh, yikes! Now I'm definitely going to use that. Why do I always curse myself with this thing? Sort off! Right. Uh. Yeah, I'll gather that. Uh. Yeah, let's use that. Use. Let's get out of here. Right. Right, let's get rested up. We made a shitload of mister. And I'm actually happy with that. Plus, we also learned some new little things. Now then, let's go and see. Might be best that I hold back on that. Don't know. Part of me thinks, yeah, hold back. Call me stingy, but, you know, might be a wise thing for me too. Now, I'm going to have to go through the cave. But don't worry. This time around, it's going to be a lot more easier. Because... Oh. No, it's not, because I ain't got room with me. Fuck! But then again, I've got better equipment than armor, so fuck you guys. 
Ow. You only could hurt me for one point. Ow. I mean, don't hit me too hard. You might get me by two points. <laughs> oh, no. uh, I make myself laugh at times. I really do. And I... Yeah. I am a Muppet at times. Oh, I'm a Muppet of a man. Oh, shit. Nice. Get in it. I swear these guys are just coming out like more than normal. Anything to slow me down, eh? Well, not today, fellas. I really got to do something about you, Han. Boom. Ooh, nice. Coming here to the entrance. Let us go, bastards! Ha! Oh, for love of Pete! You guys are just getting to be extremely a nuisance. Not off. Right, let's get him to hit himself. Right, almost out. Oh, you guys just need to know when to get lost, don't you? Oh wow, don't try too hard, you might give me about four points. Oh yeah, back to the... yeah. It's... So I, I had to think there. You guys oh, are looking mad, you know that. Hey, don't stick your tongue at me, kid. Oh, sorry for sake. You shall die. Truth of the matter, what happened to that suit? Van or snapped his finger and said, There you go. Done. Finger? I mean, thumb. Uh, shut up. <laughs> Easy ones, easy prey. <laughs> oh, it's so nice when you can actually just kill them with one shot and such. Yeah, you guys are obviously going to die as well. Bye! Look at that, not even a thank you. Typical, right?
Yeah, I was actually thinking that myself, but he didn't even thank us. Oh well, that's the way it is. <laughs> Well, he's persistent, if anything. And this is where trouble starts. Well, we'll just simply kill it, that's what. Oh yeah, this is going to be easy prey. Because it's just like the one from the um, beginning of the video, of the first video. Should be easy to take care of. Oh no, I wish it was the same with the other monsters inside. Which you will see in a bit. And what he's referring to there when he asks how is it now, he's talking about his sword skills. <laughs> oh, she can be a devil at times, but well, gotta love her for that because she's that's one way of getting free um, money in this game without having to work your butt off too much. Let's take care of those things first, then take care of that one. Luckily, these enemies in the cave is not too hard. A simple one hit, one kill, and that's it. It's when you go further that's when it gets a bit to be a problematic thing. And trust me, some of the creatures inside this other place, which we'll see in a bit, can be tough as anything. So Alice will just kill him with one hit. Bam! Just like that. Oh shit. And I'll take it this person is... Nope, he's not dead. I thought he was. Let's go inside and see what's going on here. And this is where the sci-fi part comes into it. Well, um, not all men. I mean, Grist didn't panic. Now, I will tell you what exactly this complex is, but it will explain itself eventually. But basically, this complex is the cause of the recent monster outbreak and where those um, test tubes or cloning tubes or breeding tubes even came from. In fact, actually, forget what I said earlier, I'll explain it a bit more about now. Basically, this place is one big massive biolab slash ship, basically. And it is the reason for the monster outbreak and such. And you're probably wondering what's with the robot drones and such like that. It's because it is part of the ancient civilization or what it once used to have before the Great Collapse happened. And um, basically, this technology is like, like years and years, years old, basically thousands of years even. And 
it originated from the first Fantasy Star where, you know, technology was like all good and perfect and people lived the um, high life with all of it. But also, they also had issues like with like typical like bad guys, eyes like um, Lazaric um, corrupting the um, whole entire algorithm system and that. Oh, yikes. Double yikes. Yeah, those things are going to cause me havoc and a headache. I better actually heal up. Uh, there we go. And I'm not going to lie, the music for this place is actually pretty, um, pretty awesome. I do actually love the actual, um, Remix of the old um, dungeon from the first fantasy star. Ooh. These guys are a lot tougher than anticipated. Yeah, easy to kill, but their hits are nasty. But what do you expect with future te technology? But just so you all know, just because uh, these were from like the old civilization or ancient civilization, doesn't make them all, you know, bad or anything like that. It's um, it's more of a, a like um, either an out of control defense thing or more of a defense protocol or something like that. The monsters on the other end are part of the outbreak and such, but it doesn't mean you can actually get one of them on the side or be friends with any of the machines. So you know, it's not like that. But I'm just saying that just because uh, these things were from a. Older civilization doesn't make the older civilization all these things bad or anything like that. It just means that they're just going nuts and such. Of course, there is a simple explanation for it, but uh, it's a matter of going into it without spoiling it too much. I've got a funny feeling that one of my characters is going to end up getting killed. Oh, no! Nah. You son of a bitches. I oh, really got to get out of here. Well, first I'll go here and quickly get the hex out of here. Shit. Well, let's hope they all survive this one. Luckily, they can't hit for shit, luckily. Well, 9 out of 10. Ow! Bastards! That could be handy, but right now, let's get the hex out of here and come back here again when we've stopped up. Oh man, that means I'm gonna do. To... Yeah. Well, here we go again. I know some of you are probably thinking, oh, you know, go on, go on, go on, but it's like, mm, I'm gonna need all my characters here. In fact, I wonder if the village actually has armor that I could actually use. Might be a good idea to have a look around first. I should have done that in the first place. But hey ho, there we go. But luckily, it doesn't take me long to click back back into here and that. Because it's simple walking in, walking out again. Let's have a look in here first before I sleep it off and then... Right, what have you got? Nope. Bye. No, no, no. Uh, you're definitely not going to be good. And you got... Uh, wait a minute. That will definitely help. And I might actually exchange one of these knives for the shield. That way at least it stops him from dying. Right, let's equip him with... Um, at least that way... Yeah, it means he won't be able to attack double, but at least that way it stops him from dying, at least. Or so I hope. Right. Okay. 
Here we go again. Okay, Burfelly. Got me once, but you won't get me the second time round. Let's do this. You can stay out of my bloody way. That didn't work. Oh, it's something again. Well, there we go. I've really got to hand it to um, Sega and their uh, music team. They really know how to make the music in the actual game sound really awesome and such. Even in this game, you know, it's especially for its um, age and that, and for the time it was made and all, it really sounds pretty awesome you know and even and the one thing I also like is see how they done the um, backgrounds of the battles and such you know you, you're if you're in a complex it shows you in a complex and you see all the stuff in the background moving and such when you're in a complex it's really nice to actually see all this it's little things you know I see and this one Right, let's see about going down this way, because I'm pretty sure... Oh, these fishmen. Yeah, these guys are, can be... Well, at least Han's got a bit more protection. Because otherwise he would have been in a dead man bar now, but I've really got to make sure he doesn't die, because I'm wanting to level up with me as well, because I'm going to need him at a later date. And that means it's time for him to heal. Although he is a bit difficult to keep alive at times. Because he's not the strongest, but he's very handy. Let's have a look see. Oh shit. Those Neo whistles are nasty. Especially when they use um, their heavy attacks and all. Suck it down. Oh shit. You guys just don't, you know, don't want to call it quits, do ya? Nasty fuckers. Whoa! Seriously? That was nasty as anything. I better heal up. Whew. Machines and their guns. They are nasty as anything. Oh crap. What's it have to be like a boss like thing? Fine, have it your way. Uh Nope. That's what I need. Let's see if it kills it. Oh shit, it's producing. Let's see if we can get rid of this damn thing. Yolch. There we go. That could be handy. Wait a minute. Yeah. You know what, you guys need to go back into the sea, buds. Oh shit. Hey look, I didn't mean anything by it, honest. I mean, you can say on service, just, 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 just don't kill my characters, okay? Just let me kill you, yeah? 
Oh, that's not good. I swear this is all this this is gonna be about me hitting up my characters. Right. Oh shit! No, I was meant to. Ah. Right. Right. There we go. Uh. Ouch. Oh, come on, give me a break. Gonna have to be careful because these guys really do take off a lot of uh, uh, health. Ooh, yikes. Oh, they're doing well so far. Oh, it's dead end. That's not good. You guys are really starting to tick me off. Blah. 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 <laughs> Good thing that these things are not so hard to kill. But, on the other hand, they do do damage, like I said. Oh, for the lover. You are this again. Really? Just because you guys are making it into freeze doesn't mean I'm going to ease up on you. Right. Good thing they didn't kill me on that one, because otherwise that would have hurt. Right, it's the other door. Ugh. Really? Two of you? Why not you gonna just send one of you? What, you're running out of stock? Blah. Nice. Right, going up. This could really hurt. Wait a minute. You might have an idea. Let's see if this works. That. Yeah. That. That. And that. Let's see if this works. Yikes! Oh shit. No, oh, no, 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 no. Come on. I'm... Woo. Wow, I learned that at an early stage. Okay. Uh, yeah, here we have one. And, yep. Right. Now, if you see these, you may recognise them from the basement from the first video, when I first started this game. And there you have it, people. That's where they came from, from this um, very ship, or lab. And you guys again. So I never guess you guys are going to go in twos and it'd eventually be one, eh? I guess all my bitching is, uh, must have got through to you then, eh? You're trying to make my life easy, eh? Oh shit. Oh come on, that was just... I was just kidding, alright? Bunch of bitches. Mistressing, mistressing, mistressing. Definitely not that way. You again? Honestly, 
I'll just kill this motherfucker. Ooh! That was a good thing. I like that. Come on, kill this thing. Yes. And then it don't got. Nice. Right, let's have a little look see around here. Wait. Oh. Even more better. Nice. That should. Oh, you. You guys again, eh? You know what? I'll get a chance to deal with that. Harm to deal with that. We need to take care of that. Yo, you shit. Oh, come on, back off, will ya? Well, at least didn't do the criticals. Oh, sort off! Yeah, you keep missing, you son of a bitches. Ow! Oh, come on! Sort off! Get lost! Shoot you, me, will ya? Suck it down! What are you gonna do? There's only one of you in there! Yeah, not a lot. Hold on, I better. Oh, he's running out. Alright, let's heal up. Blimey, Grizz is nearly up to 93 on health. It's just three, not four. Ow! Good thing I did hit them up. I fucking die. Oh, you son of a fish. Oh, you wasn't meant to miss that. You really wasn't meant to miss that. I also love the sprite animations that they've done for this as well. It's very good sprite work that they've done. Especially with the movements and such like that. I mean, especially for its time, it's very cleverly done. Like, you've got the little flashes and of lights, or the movements of the, um... Like, the parts of the machines and such. I just think it's all pretty clever. Ooh, that thing should have went down. Better hit it again and hope it doesn't... Yikes! I was hoping he wouldn't do that. Still, nevertheless. Another routine. It's getting very low. So I better hope that someone else has some of this, because otherwise... Actually, I wonder. Do you have any? Yes, you do. Alright, in that case, we better reserve on these uh, TP. Alright, let's have a look-see. Going in. Eeny, meeny, money, well, does it matter which way I take? No, it doesn't. And this is where we get our fifth character, who is very handy, actually, on the um, battlefield. Especially with the gear that she has and such. And plus, she has a few healing abilities, too. Now you get the idea of um, how those um, creatures are created, aids and such, and where they came from, Buffley.
So basically, it's a, um, that means that there's problems elsewhere to deal with. Basically, as you can guess, see this one big massive um, computer that controls the whole bio plant. Now, some of you are probably placing bets on who could be behind the whole thing going out of control and that, and some of you are probably joining up the dots already. But um, I'll let you figure it out as you, we go along. Plus it will tell you in a moment as well. And do you want to make any bets where that will be? And this is where you get to know, well, not get to know, this is where you get to the point where you go, ah, so we do face this man called Zio. Which you probably already know all along, but still. And the thing I love about this game is that it portrays its um, story pretty well. I mean, it does it with a mixture of um, the writing, the characters, and even like, you know, little cutscenes like this and that. And I think it was um, pretty good for its time, and it's still is to this day, you know. I find it very clever. And that's the thing I liked about it, you know. It's all back then and back when it was all brand new to me, this whole thing was. And I just really enjoyed all this sort of thing, you know. Basically, she was um, created in the labs and such like that. But she, she becomes um, a very useful character and she actually does um, aid the team a great deal in both, not only healing, but also with her attacks as well. What's going to happen now, don't you? Yeah, especially when you say all this stuff, all sunny. Well, I don't need to explain that.
and there you have it. As you know, well, we'll probably guess he he felt the need to self-destruct himself or destroy himself because he felt that he was um, it was the only way to slow down the, the um, monster infestation and such. And in order to do that, he thought, you know, the only way he could do it was to blow himself up to possibly slow it down and save many lives in the process and such. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this um, video for, for this um, game and that, and I look forward to doing more. Until next time, you'll, you'll take it easy, and peace out, everyone.